What is good guys, we're back with multi. Uh, this is a round 2 match between Kid of Death and Ash Ketchum Gamer. Both of them are 0 1. And yeah, in round 2, the people that went 0 1 in last round played each other, and the people that went 0 1 played each other right now. So we see Sand Team on Ash Ketchum Gamer's side. Well, I assume it's gonna be Zard Y with um, Tita Weather, um, like Tita with the Pursuit Trapping support. And uh, Kid of Death brings Mega Mobile Bulky Offense, which uh, seems pretty familiar to me. See, Dumas has used a team like this in World Cup. Uh, the only difference I can see is that he has. Zygarde instead of Landris, like Sidumas had Landris on his team. So um, I guess the potential Scarf on Kid of Death's team could be the uh, Greninja. Then uh, Tornadus should be Helmet on this team for sure, because he has a Budo that gives Katana terrain and makes it threatening. And yeah, Zygarde is good in this match, because... Well, I guess the Hippodon can check the Zygarde, um, but yeah, Zygarde is also good to check this out, why is what I meant to say. <coughs> so turn 1 here. You can see either a knockoff or U-turn as Pax is either gonna go for Toxic or Toxic Spikes. Goes for Skull instead, trying to get the burn. Is he the eject button Toxic Pax? So um, I guess he wants to bring um, Pax in and then Pursuit trap something with his Tita because he's a eject button. Interesting. So he has T Spikes, Skull, Recover, and then most likely Haze in the last slot. His C turn is the only rocker on Kid of Death's side, so he could get the rocks up here for the Zard Y. And uh, as Catch him Gamer, I could see him having double hazard control with Spin on Drill and Defog on Rotom. So he goes hard into Rotom now, and I don't know, I Kid of Death doesn't want to stay in here. The T-Sparks are annoying for him because the Bulu would get poisoned. Well, they're also good in the sense that Bulu's attack cannot get halved, because he can't get burned. Uh, the Bulu is definitely Spadef on this team, because it helps him versus opposing Greninja and versus uh, Mega Alakazam. He goes into Tornadus instead, and since he's a max HP Tornadus, he can take that Volt Switch quite well. Now, the Tita could come out. Um, if the Torn has super power, that would be amazing for Kid of Death to bop the Tita. If Ash Catching Gamer doesn't want to risk that, he can also go into his Toxa packs here. Also, it's really weird to see packs and Rotom on the same team, double water. I don't get that really. Hmm. But yeah, Z Move user on Ash Catching Gamer's side, it's most likely the Excadrill, and then. Would the Tita be um, Bandit or Smooth Rock? Well, the play here is either, yeah, like I said, Pex or Tita, I think. Well, technically, Hippodon could come out as well if it's mixed defensive. Yeah, Hippodon does come out, okay. So, does he have leftovers or Rocky Helmet or Smooth Rock? He has no leftovers, so either Rocky Helmet or Smooth Rock. And if Kid of Death doesn't want to take potential Helmet damage, he could hard switch out here. But u would get a momentum in this case. Just World of a Hurricane. And, I mean, yeah, he just wanted to see the damage in Hippodon. And Hippodon usually doesn't run Stone Edge, so I guess the best that Hippodon could have done there to the Torn was uh, Toxic or Whirlwind it out. Or get up the rocks. So now you turn into... If Zygarde has rest, Zygarde can come out here. Or otherwise, I think he might go into Heatran. Goes into Bulu and lets it get poisoned. Um, which is fine, like I said earlier, because... This way he cannot get burned from Rotom's will wisp and from Pex's Scald. Uh, but like, the chip damage is gonna be annoying for the Bulu, so that's why I wasn't sure at first if he wants to do that play. But he kinda had to do it at one point. Now, we could see a SD here, or we could see a... Yeah, I think SD is the play, because Zard doesn't really want to come out with rocks up. You could also hard attack if he wants to predict the Zard to come out. This Bulu is actually a threat. Like, if it was an offensive Bulu with, like, choice band or really a, a lot of attack investment, it would be even more scary. But on this team, you obviously want the bulk, like I said earlier, to check uh, Zam and Greninja. Also, we do see uh, that the Bulu reveals leftovers. So, since the Bulu reveals leftovers... Yeah, it's obviously the bulky Spadef set with Protect as the only superpower most likely. Even though Edge would be really cool here to potentially catch a Zard on the Switch. As Dennis Demon has just joined the call, you wanna say hi? Hey. So we're recording Kid of Death game 1. Uh, I thought Insel was joining, but then he uh, had to leave real quick. So it's Bulk Up. Um, the reason why I run Bulk Up on Bulu is because it helps versus uh, Coil Zygarde, and otherwise his team is quite weak to Coil Zygarde. But Bulk Up is like mm -hmm. it's kind of annoying for him in this case to have Bulk Up in this game, because if he was SD, this could actually like destroy his opponent. Because Rocks Yeah, are exactly. You would actually... You would prefer to be SD over... Yeah. Rocks are up and Zard cannot come in, especially since... He still wants to scout at first if the Bulu has edge or superpower. Well, most likely superpower. So this is kind of bad for Ash Catching Gamer. Well, the terrain is going to run out eventually, so I guess it's not too bad. 
But yeah, when the terrain runs out, the Buddha will actually uh, get shipped down a little bit because toxic, I think, um, regular toxic, one layer, not toxic, not hard poison. Uh, does a little bit more than leftovers heals uh, when the terrain is gonna end. So if he was SD, this Pex would have been near dead now, bro. But uh, it's not. Also, this Pex doesn't have to be max per death because he also has a Rotom. Uh, also, Tita can help with his choice locked Ash Greninja because obviously, if it Dark Pulses, you can go Tita and Pursuit Trap them per potentially. So Excadrill can threaten the Bolo here with a potential Corkscrew Crash. Uh, I don't know if he would go in a Heatran on a Corkscrew Crash. <laughs> Seems, yeah, that no. seems a bit too risky and like... Damn, I, Kid is actually very weak to to Excadrill. He's mm -hmm. definitely gonna click a steel move here because uh, it hits the Tornadoes and everything pretty much. The only thing that resisted is uh, Heatran and Greninja and Greninja doesn't want to get poisoned. Yeah. And Heatran obviously Damn. is most likely slower. Like, Kid of Death either doesn't have a Scarfer or his Scarfer is... Gren or Tren? Most, most of it has to be Scarf Gren, I think, because mm -hmm. the Tren is his only rocker, right? Uh, well, it could be Mega Mobile, but Mega Mobile is usually one. You want the all out attacking set on that. So, Protect, uh, on oh, the Z move, does this gonna do like 30 ish, 35 maybe? 30, 23 only because of the bulk up. Nice, huh? Only 23 because of the bulk up boost, but now Iron Head would still hurt him. You can open the calculator right here. Um, Superpower would obviously kill the Excadrill. I don't know if Hornleach would kill it because there's no terrain. Hornleach probably wouldn't kill him because this type no, of No, no. This Bulu runs no attack okay. investment, right? It, it definitely it definitely doesn't kill. I, I don't think. But yeah, let me open up the calc here. Tapu Bulu, uh, SD versus Excadrill. He managed to burn the Z-move, which is nice. But the matchup is still pretty rough for Kid of Death. So like, if this is the Bulu with 76 side. defense investment, then Ironhead does 68 to 81. If I'm calculating this correct, I'm assuming it's Zardwion Ash. Yeah, that's what I was talking side. about earlier. Zardwion yeah. plus Pursued. We have 68 to 81 and plus one. Oh, I didn't put the Depends. plus one in, I'm bad. Right. <laughs> I think it lives. Uh, 76. So he went into Pex there, potentially predicting his superpower in case uh, Ironhead didn't kill. Ironhead would have done 44 to 52 to the, um, to the Bulu, so he needed, yeah, like, so he needed like a high roll to play. Yeah. Like it would have lived or he need a max roll. Mm-hmm. But yeah, these rocks are putting in work for kid, not letting the Zardin for free. I assume he's just gonna hold each here. Because he wants that health back. Mm -hmm. No, Ash that's matches. A free that, that's a free roost. Yeah, Ash is kinda of forced to roost because he doesn't want to lose his Zard. Also, a huge flex would have been rapid spinning earlier when he switched out the blue into the torn. <laughs> so does he hard yeah, I mean he has to oh, yeah. roost. And now um mm -hmm. Tran can live one focus blast and potentially go for toxic if he has that. Uh, that's just mm, no, it dies, which means, which means he's offensive. <laughs> <laughs> he's offensive. Tram no yeah, I think it's still a roll, though. Yeah, it's a roll, but it's like let me call this. Ooh, damn. Like I'm pretty sure that's not even max HP. It's just offensive trend with. Uh, yeah, no way. That that has a HP. The like. T-Tran reveal if it's yeah. lefties. It didn't, right? It's a 31 chance to Oko. Okay. Damn, that's unfortunate. I mean, you have to hit focus blast, which is 70%, and then you still have to get the roll. So it yeah. was like kind of a 50-50 type of thing. So Zygarde Pretty getting lucky. poisoned, if this has rest, it's not too bad for him, otherwise this is annoying for him. Um, sometimes Choice Ben and Zyga does run rest, because that way you can throw it into packs easier and you don't have to fear getting toxic or burned. Uh, hip Powder? Yeah, but Hip Powder is going to Oh, 4 though. Okay. Hip Powder is... Than that's take. definitely banned and the Powder has some sort of speed death mm -hmm. investment, because if it was max defense, it would have... He goes Bulu. He can go Bulu and like double on the Zyga. more well, just oh, to get the Intimidate, I don't know if he wants to stay in here. He might just go into Tornia to get some regen. Uh, because catch Ash catching him, I just have, punch? have to Earthquake here. So I think Yo, I would have gone into okay, Torn. Okay. okay, he will win predicting a switch, I think. Or does he not have Earthquake? Because uh, what I would have done there from Kid, I might have gone back into Torn just to get the region. Pretty I'm I I'm pretty sure Ash catching Gamer went for Whirlwind predicting an SD or an something. SD, yeah, that, ma know. that makes a lot of sense, obviously. This is good though, because I mean, he's probably going to go Pax or something. I mean, as long as Rock's up, you can just click Honly Shear the Zard. It's yeah. super, like, it's at 40 ish. So if he had Stone Edge, it would be amazing, but he obviously doesn't have it. We already talked about that. So Zyra is forced to roost, kind of. Well, if he wants to... Zygarde, and he gets yeah, Zyra actually takes yeah. quite a lot from this if it's offensive. I assume like 30, 34 maybe? So obviously, um, he doesn't want to stay in here. Uh, the Grassy Terrain helps him out there since he roosted. He lost the Flying type, he gets some extra recovery. Uh, well, did he not heal the Hippodon? Oh, it's at 53, so that's really good for him. So Solobeam obviously does more than so, fire. Solobeam does a lot. 
Yeah. And yeah, since well. the Zard died, it was confirmed Bandit. I mean, we already knew that. We already knew from the damage in Hippowdon. And now... What does he even go to? Hippowdon and Slack off, yeah. He can also go Excadrill potentially, but yeah, Hippowdon and Slack off is the, the, the play. Because he needs a Hippowdon Healthy to deal with them all while... Also the... Is the Toxic Pex Haze? The Pex has Haze, I already revealed it. it Haze on a Bulga Bulu. Okay. So now... Um, what is he gonna go for here? Knockoff? It just goes for default because yeah, toxic works. spikes get removed that way Greninja doesn't get affected and also gets rid of the rocks and since he already took advantage of the rocks so he was free to defog there because the Zard on the other side like the Zard was fucked by rocks but the Zard is dead now so uh, mm -hmm. rocks are not that good was this Ash catching game anymore so he was decided to get, he just decided to get rid of the rocks like on his side he pumped there just in case he wanted to go into Zygarde on a Volt Switch or Wisp I don't think I've ever seen a team weaker to Zygarde than Ash Ketchum Gamers. <laughs> I mean, actually, oh there my are God, like, actually, I'm not gonna say any names, but there are definitely some people with teams that are weaker to Zygarde. So he has Sand Rush, so Tornadus, <laughs> is, Tornadus is kind of forced out here. I don't know, he might... Is Smooth Rock? I missed that. Uh, I didn't count. It, it was not Smooth... Uh, it was not Helmet. What was... I cannot talk. It was not Leftovers, so it's either Helmet or Smooth Rock. I didn't pay attention to the Sand Turns. Because I think okay. he changed up the weather with, with Zard earlier, right? So I was I was just going to say, um, if you wanted to Earthquake, oh, I was going to say if he wants to break the the Greninja and go for Earthquake, but um, that was too risky. So the Gren, right there. the Gren could go for U-turn here or Spikes, if it's Scarf. Uh, obviously he scouts for Scarf. Oh, it's Shuriken, so it's Ash. Oh. So it's, it's Ash. Is that Specs yeah. damage? I think it might be Specs because Pex is obviously really bulky and it's just a Shuriken. <clears throat> So obviously Kid has to switch out here. I mean he could have spiked there, which would have been a huge flex play, but I understand why you should I, I thought he was Scarf and he could have scattered the Excadrill with a Scarf. Yeah, okay. So it's confirmed no Scarf on Kid's team. Well, mm. he has priority on Zygarde and Guren, and he has somewhat of a bulky backbone, but on this team I still think you want the Scarfer. Because you don't even like you don't even have besides Torn, you don't really have a bulky region mon like Tangros that will stay around the entire game. Like, Bulu cannot stay time. around that well because, as you can see, T spikes went up earlier. And Tornadus is not Tornadus is not the best at keeping T spikes off versus Pex unless it has Taunt, which I think it didn't have. Yeah, because he would have gone for it if he had. Uh, I mean, Bulu is only poison; it's not toxic. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, but mm -hmm. since the sand is also there, the Bulu is like not really recovering anything, even with leftovers and terrain. I'm pretty sure Kids only plays Taunt. Oh, Z hard Zyga, damn! On T spike? Never mind, double. Oh, and um, just gets the iron head again. This is tough. Actually, yeah, that that, that was a good double going extra jail. Hmm. I mean, he was never gonna stay in with the Greninja, and yeah, kid just tried to get Zygarde in to put offensive pressure. And I don't know if the Zygarde would have been is rest. Like we don't know that yet. If it is rest, then it's that's really good for him. Well, I assume Iron had probably killed from here. Let me count that. Yeah, like Zygarde is bulky, but not that. Iron had the thirty-two to thirty-seven. So no, Iron, Iron Head was a roll, roll slash it didn't oh, kill, man. and wow. he obviously didn't want to risk the roll, so U -turn? he went for... U-turn, 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 nice, nice. And now we'll know that it's most likely Smooth Rock, because he didn't show Helmet yeah. or Leftovers. So what do you bring in here? Mawile or...? Mawa yeah, because Ice Punch kills. Mm -hmm. I mean, Rotom is super low, so Mawile would have been fine there, yeah. Oh. Okay, he gets it to the terrain. Yeah, just on leeches is the also trail. fine. Oh, and the oh, stand wow. is now gone. Since the Zard is... Oh, since wait. The, he's double sand, I just realized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Since the Zard is dead, yeah. it just destroys him. But Hornleech, every time it comes in on the T-Tar... Yeah, he, he also has no grass resist anymore. Okay, yeah. this team is whack. Yeah, he, he, it actually... Like, oh, dude, I just noticed that. Like, no offense, but like, it's weak to a lot of things. So x like, can come out here, threaten out the Bulu. Still has Isn't a, it a roll, though? I mean, Iron Hat? He doesn't have yeah, to... Yeah, because the same... He burned the Z move. So. He doesn't have a bulk up boost this time, but it might still be a roll. So if it's Max. Uh, I don't have this. Uh, yeah, it's a roll in a Kid of Death favor, so that actually doesn't kill. So I guess he's gonna go for the flinch. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I mean, yeah. I mean, he cannot kill the Bulu, the Excadrill back, so. Yeah, I guess extra leaves any. Because so. Superpower. Um, Mm. Super power would have done. Um, wait, the super power actually Oko? Never mind, that's adamant. My bad. That's adamant life. <laughs> nice Kalk having onset. <laughs> so max attack would have done. Um, 
not Max Attack. Superpower would have done 90 to 106 to the extra. But yeah, obviously that was no reason to sack the uh, to risk the type of Bulu dying to a flinch. Do you T punch like a real Nikki? <laughs> on the pack, on the packs. <laughs> Since he has the grassy terrain yes, up, um, Mobile can eat up Earthquake, and I think he might want to go for Playrof here and Playrof into Sucker Punch. I mean, I don't think well, he's gonna stay in with X, but then again, he has no switching. I mean, he's I gonna mean, go Pax or Sag Rotom, I guess. But yeah, that's why I'm saying. So if you have, like okay, you want to T punch? Does he have like a coverage move that hits everything? Yeah, uh, like knockoff, knockoff would be like a good mid ground here because it hits like everything besides T tar. But I don't think he has knockoff. If he has ice punch, he's probably punch more well with like yeah. T punch, ice punch, ice T punch, 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 player of, mm -hmm. and then uh, the what the what Zyger is the best play. Hmm. I mean, you can either player of or you can T punch or you can double please, the Zyger. Please T punch. Yeah, like oh, I was man. just gonna say that he's um most likely like triple Fang move like. Fire Fang, Ice Punch, Deep Punch, not Terrible Fang, but um, Elemental Mobile. But the last move could have oh, been... Oh damn, he got cut. The last yeah, move could have been Zanger. Sucker Punch or Fire Fang, I wasn't sure about that. But yeah, now he pivoted back into Excalibur since the terrain runs out. Uh, he, he, ca he catches uh, a kid of death there. And now Earthquake, obviously, I assume it kills Mom of him full, so he has to... He's gonna him. go for Iron Head. If he goes for SD here, that yeah, would be kind yeah, of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, actually, there was yeah, no I point SD because like, Greninja threatens you with Water Shrimp. Okay, but yeah. double now. Zyger. Now, I don't know if I would... I, I, I wouldn't T-Punch now. I think Kid of this... I think Kid of this loses kind of now. Uh, he's in a tough spot. I would have T-Punched before 100%. Now I don't know. Well, I mean, Ash Catching Gamer is not staying in here because Terrain is up and Drill kind of kills everything, so... Yeah. He needs Drill to kill the uh, Zyger. He's either sacking the Rotom or he's going packs. I don't think he can do anything else. Actually, Rotom. Hmm. I mean, T Bunch can work fine here or double, like you guys already said. I don't really know what else you can do. The Tita. I don't think we know anything about the Tita set. What if it's double? Mm -hmm. So it's Rock. Looking like Bandit Tita to me uh, at this point since the Hippo was smooth rock. Actually. Actually, no, he cannot sack Tita because, like, Sand is still nice. Because so otherwise, Tita. If he sacks Tita, he loses to Dark Pulse. Uh, yeah, that exactly. Game, potentially. T Punch? So he does predict nice, that. Nice, and nice, now nice. he can play rough here. Player should kill from this range. It just has to hit. And it also still hits Drill on the switch and it does kill Pets. Okay. Like he has three more turns of terrain to do some work. So he's gonna sack either the Pax or the Rotom. I think he might have to sack the Rotom because he kinda wants the Pax for the Greninja, right? Yeah, he's gonna lose the Shuriken. So he sack Rotom here, then he comes... Maybe if his t is faster, he can come in and threaten out the mall with a Fire Punch, but I don't think that O goes from full. Yeah. Mm, maybe EQ yeah. though. Oh yeah. I mean, EQ is... Uh, terrain is still up, so that's still better for Kid. As long, oh, as, the, as, long as the terrain is up. But yeah, you can see there, um, mm -hmm. player was to play and the guy knew he doesn't want to lose to Greninja, so he sacks his Rotom instead to get some Regenerator back. And now he still can't kill this. I don't know how he can kill them all while. As long as Wait, he can, he, I guess he can like Earthquake or Fire Punch with T-Tar to put it in range. Putting range of extra, extra yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, but since the Sand, well actually the Sand is going to go back up here, right? right. <laughs> I was going to say Sand ended. So, okay, wait. Axe is going to oh. Earthquake. Wait, oh, he just okay. pivots. Why, why, oh, he pivots in the town of Fire Fang there? to get the sand back up, okay. Okay. That was weird, though. Damn. Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, is he gonna, like... If he, he, doesn't, have, if he doesn't have Fire Fang, his other... Yeah, he's slower. Yeah, goodbye. Is that, is that um, normal? That normal outspeeds Bantar? Let me cut, see. Let me cut. No, I don't think it's... Oh, yeah, not, I think Bantar... It usually runs more speed, like, it's usually faster than mobile. Okay, so the reason why he did that was, um, he stalled out one turn of sand, uh, of terrain, and then he sacked this tar, and then the terrain is now over. So Earthquake from Drill can now bob this. You, you have to sack, I think, do you sack Greninja here? Probably. Nah, you, you they, need it for the shuriken. So this guy oh, yeah. either has no speed on his T-Tar, or Kid of Death had like a... Had like a um, jolly mall. <laughs> what? No, wait, never mind. <laughs> wait, what? Yeah, you need you need a lot of speed to outspeed. Yeah, so he didn't have enough speed on. 
Yeah, he was probably like some bulky t t t No, like max speed, like max speed element Mega Mowal is still slower than standard banter. Nice so, sassy. So, so there was a slow detail. <laughs> yeah. So I think you have to sack Mawile and then go for Shuriken, I guess. Um. No, you sack. If you sack Mawal, you go Gren and double to Zygar. Actually, I don't know. I think you need like four hits to kill this tower three. Definitely has to go Greninja afterwards. Yeah, you go Gran and. Ooh, uh, Zagat is in range to dive him off quick. And I, now... don't even, I don't even think. I don't even think it's a. Actually, it's. I mean, you can I run think a it's drill. Mm. You can run a Kalk here. Also, if the Pex comes down with you know, Dark Pulse, that would be really bad for him, so I don't know. No, Z Zygarde is way too... You, you yeah, I think you just sure I think you just sure yeah. can, and then you go Zygarde and then go off like Dark Pulse flinches or something. Yeah, you sure can for sure. Mm -hmm. So let me just change Water Shuriken, because I don't have the Ash Greninja Kalk before it's non-Ash form, so I have to change it. Yeah, I think I think Ash has to stay in, actually. If he gets um three... Yup. If he gets three Shuriken hits with Excadrill, that does 99 to 119. So is that, three hits always. Wait, is that with regular Gren? Yes, 103 okay. special attack. It has to stay in. It, it's 105. Yes, so I don't know. Remember. So he needs like two hits to live. So like it's like the safer play is going packs. You think Kid of Death would predict the packs here? <laughs> no, I would sure can. Nah, because because if he goes packs on Shuriken, you can just go Zygarde, and if you double back, then you can like. Yeah, but Ash Ketchum Gamma can double back now. That's why I thought you wanted yeah, to you can. Like... Nah, I'm pretty sure it's still in the kid's favor. No, like, it was... So you got five hits there. Double Shuriken, double Shuriken. Oh my god, yes! No, he did it? What the fuck? Yes, yes! I mean, okay, okay, I get what you mean, because he was forced to... ...make a play at that point, because he was in the back. Wait... Right? Yeah, now it's over. Man, nice, nice. I mean, that was a nice, nice double shuriken. Arrows is gonna do like 90 ish, 80. Kills him one, okay, so no fist of investment at all there. I did not think it would kill him one, hello? Yeah. That's <laughs> for the Yeah, but still, I don't know, think that all goes. But yeah, let me see Zygarde. Uh, why is there no bandit? There's bandit. I'm not sure if you have to risk that though. Yeah, 1000 arrows is 91 to 108. But yeah, I'll catch you guys with game 2 in a bit.